Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're looking at Unit 7, Lesson 13, Interpreting Points on a Coordinate Plane. The objective says, I can plot points in a four-quadrant coordinate plane to represent situations and to solve problems. The x-axis represents the number of hours before or after noon in this particular situation, and the y-axis represents the temperature in degrees Celsius. So before I get started, I'm going to label some things. If it's before noon, I'm going to be going to the left. If it's after noon, I'm going to be going to the right. If it's below freezing, I'm going to go down. And if it's above freezing, I'm going to go up. At 9 a.m., it was below freezing. So 9 a.m. is before noon. I'm going to go left. And it was below freezing, so I'm going to go down. So I'm going to go to the left and down. In what quadrant would this point be plotted? Well, to the left and down, both of those would be negative values, and that would be in quadrant 3. Letter B said, at 11 a.m. it was 10 degrees Celsius. In what quadrant would this point be plotted? Well, 11 a.m. is before noon, so I would go left. 10 degrees is above freezing, so I would go up. So I would go to the left and up, and that would put me in quadrant 2. For letter C, it says choose another time and temperature, then tell, the then tell the quadrant where the point should be plotted. So I'm going to choose 2 p.m. and 14 degrees Celsius. So 2 p.m. is after noon, so I'm going to go to the right, and 14 degrees Celsius is above freezing, so I'm going to go up. So I'm going to go to the right and up. This would put me in quadrant 1. What does the point zero, zero represent in this context? Well, the first zero tells me where it is in time, before or after noon. And since it's right smack dab in the middle, it is noon. And the second zero tells me if it's above or below zero. And since it's right smack dab in the middle at zero, that means it's zero degrees Celsius. It's neither above nor below that freezing point. Again, the objective says I can plot points in a four-quadrant coordinate plane to represent situations and to solve problems. We applied the quadrants to time, thinking about before and after noon, as well as temperature, thinking about above and below freezing. Thanks for watching.